This week for Compulsory 4 and 5 Vault, we are talking and working on body positions. Um, a great drill is for them to hold a hollow body um, hold. Allison's showing. Um, they can also let their arms get farther over their head, more in the vault position, just like that. That's one great drill. Then Allison's going to get up and move and do log rolls. Um, so she's doing log rolls down the panel mat, and she's just working on maintaining her tight body as she goes through that and controlling her body position as she goes through. This really helps the kids be aware of their body positions. We do Great. tons of drills um, for body position for compulsory fives and fours. Um, this is another one where they get into the mirror laying in a push-up or a handstand position. They should not be able to see their feet. If they are in a straight, tight body position, they know that they are perfectly straight. Then Allison can roll onto her back, and she does the same thing in a back position. She can raise and lower her feet so that she, until she feels and sees the correct body position in the mirror. We need to do more and more body position drills so that they really know and understand these positions. Here's another drill for compulsory fours holding and maintaining their body position. We have a trapezoid mat, a cheese mat, and an eight inch for them to fall over in. Allison's going to kick up to a handstand, push through the mat, and hold her position all the way down, maintaining the good body position all the way throughout the vault. Another compulsory four um, body position drill is using the tumble tramp. Allison can do hollow body hops. Each time she hops up, she maintains and controls her body position, um, holding the hollow while she's in the air. Then we also combine this with the assemble jump that we did last week. She goes assemble, hollow body jump, land. And then she'll do that again, assemble, Punch the board, hollow body, land. Okay, this is getting them to work on getting to that body position quickly and staying tight. A body position drill and um, set up for block for compulsory fives is this one. Allison's going to run and do a block drill up onto cheese, this cheese vault. For Allison, because she blocks well, we have her blocking off a trapezoid and we have the cheese mat on an eight inch mat. You might want to start this with them blocking off the floor and just to the cheese mat, um, but the eight inch mat is there, is nice to have there, especially if they're tall enough that they might go past the cheese mat and they're not hitting the floor. Here goes Allison doing the drill. She works on being tight throughout the vault and holding the body position throughout the, the skill. She works on blocking strong so she's not just rolling or falling into the mat. Here's another drill for compulsory four and five vault, maintaining body positions. Allison jumps from a block to a mini tramp and then, blo and then blocks and holds her position through the landing onto the whale mat. This is really good. Make sure they're not piking down too much. Work on really maintaining the body position. They don't need to jump. They're just sort of stepping off the block to get this to go. And really working on immediately getting to that hollow and holding the position throughout. Another great drill. In compulsory four and five vault, we spend way too much time going immediately to the apparatus. We need to do more drills that break down the skills and allow the girls to work on their body positions and know what it feels like. Here is a very simple compulsory four drill where Allison's kicking to a handstand and just holding her body position while she falls the flat back. Holds position and maintains the position throughout the fall. For compulsory four bars, we're working on the mill circle. Allison is holding a hoop out in front of her where when the girl is doing the mill circle, she's going to vision stepping out and into this hoop. It sometimes helps to put the hoop on the floor to give them a visual if you're helping spot them. So Allison gets on the bar and when she does her mill circle, she wants to make sure she presses up off the bar, is nice straight, straight legged, and really is aggressive in her press forward to create this mill circle. So she presses forward, stepping into the hoop, and then around and presses up to finish the mill circle. Here's another drill station for compulsory four bars mill circle. Um, this drill works three things. It helps them to figure out their hand rotation, getting their shoulders over the bar, and also that the leg through the bar can help them raise up by pressing that leg down when they do a mill circle. So Allison leans back on the angled trap and 
presses the leg down to come forward and come back to her front position. Do it again. She leans over the bar, rotates her hands, and presses her legs down to get back onto the front support. I usually spot this drill, but here's a way you can do it without having to spot so it can be another drill station. The compulsory five bar dismount is difficult because the kids are scared of having too much swing and dropping from a high height. Helping them learn their hand position, we can do on the low bar. Put a bar where their feet are, can swing through and they're just working on the hand change and changing direction. She swings, changes direction, and then takes her hands off the bar. One more time. Swings through, changes direction, takes her hands off the bar. This is exactly what she'll be doing on the high bar. Here we start adding height to the compulsory five dismount, but we still want to make it easy and not scary for the girls. So the bar is slightly low, she's just falling off the trapezoid, changing direction, and landing. Again, this is a controlled swing, and she's, she's not afraid because it's not too high. Here we keep progressing the compulsory five dismount. Allison's going from on the high bar, but she's just doing it from a single swing and dismounting. As she gets better and more comfortable with this added swing and height, we can add the counter swing just like it would be in the routine. Very good. Drills for compulsory four beam, working the seesaw. Um, you can use these small um, foam blocks or a bean bag near the wall. Allison is going to kick up close to the wall, making sure she gets all the way to vertical. Leg is straight, body comes against the wall, and then she picks up the mat, the block, or the bean bag as she stands up, keeping her arms squeezed by her ears and staying tight, coming to a finished position. Very nice. Here we do the same drill transitioned up to the beam. We want to make sure that um, she, her arms stay tight and her core solid and we want to encourage her to get all the way to vertical. Very good. For compulsory five beam they have a handstand. It's written handstand, split, step down, finish. Bottom line, our girls are not good at handstands because they don't work them enough and they don't maintain body position. So we just need to do more handstands. After they've mastered it on the line, we can move it to the beam or other drills. Another drill for compulsory five handstand and split is getting them to do it against a block or mat that is just below the height of their rear end when they're inverted. Here Allison gets this good start position, hands close to the block, kicks to a handstand, hits vertical, splits, and steps down. She gets to work her ab and body control throughout this drill but has the mat there to help spot her. Great job. This week on floor for compulsory fours and fives, we have round off connected to various skills. Um, drills for a round off, here is one using a obstacle on the floor. They're gonna do a round off going one way, putting their hands in front of the obstacle, stretching and, go, stretching and staying hollow going over it, and then on the other way going back, they're gonna put their hands past the obstacle. As they get better or taller, you can make the, the obstacle larger, higher, um, wider, and those kind of things. Um, Allison was just doing that on a line so they see if they are staying straight. Another round off drill is going through a channel or between two obstacles. Here we are using a line along with soft obstacles um, where Allison needs to put her hands down on the floor at the beginning of the obstacles, stretch her body over the top and through the channel as she does her round off. Another drill that needs to be worked for a round off is the snap down. Here Allison is on a panel mat and she's going to work on bringing her legs over and down quickly and get them underneath her as she finishes the round off. Very nice.